People make fun of you because they're jealous. Yeah. People make fun of you because they're going through a hard time. Mm -hmm. But also when you're having a hard time, you should not put it on yeah, other people. International. If some people see you on the VM Kids show, yeah. they'll be like, this man is stupid. Mm -hmm. And which you are not stupid, you are uh, talented, you mm -hmm. are trying to help the country, yeah. but they are not trying to help the country. Mm -hmm. And that is mainly what is affecting the country. Yeah. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and yeah. if someone is telling you, you are a fool, you cannot do this, mm -hmm. it's I would say it's mainly because they are jealous. Yeah. They are not the first person who started it. Mm -hmm. So even if you start this today, yeah. it will not benefit you today, but another day it can. Mm -hmm. You can grow up, there can be a problem, and you know how to do the other things that you will do that they don't know how to do. Me, I think you, you are quite right. A lot of people are jealous simply because they cannot create one. Um, and then if they see you creating something amazing, they start fighting you. You know, they start making sure that you fail completely. I mean, what will be your greatest advice to these people that are fighting each other for nothing? My greatest advice will be like, don't just, don't, don't uh, listen to what they say. Mm -hmm. Do what you want to do mm -hmm. and do your best. Yeah. Because even if they don't need you, mm -hmm. other people need you. Yeah. You are in this world for a reason. Yeah. So if you are doing something, it's for a use. Yeah. When someone is making a house, mm -hmm. it's for people to sleep in it. Yeah. When someone is making peanut, is people to like what they're eating mm -hmm. and so from people to eat yeah but example when you are making peanut mm -hmm. and it's just a new thing that came out it's just an example yeah. people will be saying you are crazy mm -hmm. who will go to the soil and uh, sp uh, split start, it up apart yeah and putting something inside and expecting it to grow mm -hmm. that good so people will be calling you crazy but if you do it you see it's going good and more and more people are doing it more mm -hmm. and more is coming yeah and also some people just hear what people say too much yeah. which is not good hearing what people are saying is something that is good mm -hmm. it's also something that is bad yeah because sometimes when people are trying to give you advice mm -hmm. you can listen yeah but when people are trying to tell you you cannot do this you cannot do this vm you will never make it and uh, that is like not true yeah. because when you were starting the show maybe mm -hmm. some people were telling you it's not a good idea yeah. but you didn't listen mm -hmm. and you did and now you are going pretty good yeah so that is why you should not actually always listen to what people say mm -hmm. and sometimes also try your own ideas ideas yeah and i think that's very quite right and this advice is not meant for me alone but it's meant for everybody that is watching this um video live and finally uh, a lot of people will say ami is a young girl ami is young um some people will even ask me how do you get your inspiration from where do you get your inspiration from okay you know, it does not mean you are young, you are stupid. Mm -hmm. That is always when I tell myself. You are young, does not mean you are stupid. Yeah. If you have a disability, that does not mean it's a disability. You should hold it like a different ability mm -hmm. from people. So, I'm young, but I'm trying my best. Yeah. You are old, 30 years old, but sitting relying on your parents. Mm -hmm. That means I'm better than you. Yeah. So you don't have to cut me like a young girl, but you can cut me like a young girl, but not like people are like, that's young. I mm -hmm. cannot have, I cannot have advices from her. Mm -hmm. In life, you can have this advice. The other one also can have this advice. Mm -hmm. Your advice from, from uh, plus other people's advice will makes make it stronger. Are, yeah. yeah, makes you become who you are. But if you say you're not going to hear that from no one, that makes you less going down and, and then and then how do you feel when people look low upon on children thinking that these children doesn't have voice like now i am giving the voice i'm giving the mic to the people to voice out their pains their sorrows their happiness you know even their sadness you know i'm giving i'm doing that because i know i cannot do it alone and i believe that um, parents cannot do it alone and i believe that individually cannot do it alone and i also believe that together we can do it that's my belief but then 
we all have different strategies of doing things we all have different way of doing things we all have different way of viewing things so if we could see the other side of the story it help us to understand why it happens and why are people if people are happy they are happy for a reasons yeah. if people are sad they are sad for a reasons mm -hmm. if people are not um celebrating they are not celebrating for a reasons so if if we don't give voice out to the young people what do you think it might bring upon okay if we don't give advice to the people yeah especially to the young people to the young people okay. yeah example you are here you don't have a advice from the people your parents give you advice but that's not enough yeah. you have to have more advice from others and if we don't have advice from the people it just keeps us like no use yeah no because use. we are here to help each other mm -hmm. you know in this life you can have money but as long as you're not helping others, mm -hmm. you have no use in the world. Of course. So if you are helping others, you have a use. Mm -hmm. But if you are not helping others, you don't have a use. Yeah. You are having money. Yeah. You are buying it from people. That also might people that you are giving the money to yeah. will say you have a use because you are giving them the money. Yeah. But the people that you are not helping mm -hmm. will say you don't have a use because you don't have a use if we have to be honest. Yeah. In this life example, I'm here explaining about the snakes. Yeah. I'm not just explaining about the snakes because I want everyone to say Ami is smart, she's yeah. living in the snake farm. I want to give advice to the people so people will know that all snakes are not dangerous. Yeah. All snakes are not going to kill you calm down and all the things but if i was just sitting down here knowing all that but keeping it in myself not sharing it with others i don't have a use to know even about those snakes and do you know that you have uh, some comments on facebook people were saying you should stay away from snakes because they see you with me with snakes and when they started watching the video over the tv on youtube they were like who is she where did she come from i really love her I admire her but when they really saw you on Facebook with the post whereby I said back to the snake farm mm -hmm. a lot of people were commenting saying that um, snake farm this young girl should stay away from snake because anytime snake can change they can bite you okay so if if I should say that I would say I should stay away from them yeah because they can change their mind they can try to kill me they can be jealous of me or whatever yeah okay one thing I come tr I'm trying to tell you mm -hmm. is that never trust no one in the life for hundred yeah. percent. Never even trust yourself mm -hmm. because you don't know what you are going to do next. Sometimes you can be like, okay, I'm going to put 50 people in this plane. Yeah. I'm hundred percent sure it's not going to cr uh, crash. Yeah. But you go until the sky, everybody die. Yeah. So at the end you are like oh my gosh if i knew i would have not trust myself mm -hmm. so that's the same way yeah. it's not like because i'm playing with snakes mm -hmm. means snakes is going to kill me yeah it's not because i'm talking with you means you're jealous of me mm -hmm. it's not because i'm making fun of you means when you grow up when i'm homeless you are not going to help me yeah so you know that is it if i have to be honest with them mm -hmm. I don't trust them. Yeah, you don't trust them. Yeah. And someone was saying, Hi, VM. To, to be honest, we really love you and the Gambians really need you. You're doing a lot. But please, please, please do not go to Snake Farm because Snake might bite you and we don't want to lose you. What is your response to him? Okay. My response is to, to him yeah. is he is trying to tell you not to enter in a car. <laughs> he is trying to tell you not to buy food from the market. Yeah. Because if you enter in a car, you can die from it yeah. if you buy food from the market you can get poisoned from it mm -hmm. he is even trying to tell you not to be in the world yeah. because anywhere you are anything you are doing is dangerous yeah. you are eating is dangerous yeah. you are sleeping is dangerous you are going in a car is dangerous you are having yourself you are staying at the beach is dangerous so you mean all these are toxins yeah everything we are doing is dangerous okay so it's not like you can avoid it mm -hmm. example what you can what he is trying to tell you yeah 
Okay, he is also, he feels good for you because he is also trying to tell you, this is how he is seeing it. Yeah. He is trying to tell you, VM, move from that tree yeah. because that tree is going to fall in one week. Mm -hmm. He, that's <laughs> how he is seeing, seeing it. it. Yeah. But I am seeing it as if VM, yeah, don't trust that tree. Mm -hmm. But if you don't have a place to sleep before that one week, go there and sleep. Yeah. But instead, he is telling you don't to, don't sleep there. Mm -hmm. Where are you going to sleep? Of course, nowhere. Nowhere. Yeah. So before that one week, you can help yourself. Mm -hmm. So. What I am trying to say is that don't trust the snakes for 100%. Yeah. Don't trust the humans for 100%. Mm -hmm. As long as you don't trust yourself, don't trust anything else. Anything else. Now, let's come back. This other one is saying, VM, now, oh. <laughs> <laughs> now you want to you want to actually kill yourself for nothing. Anyway, Ami Kole is someone, she's smart, everybody loves her, but I would definitely advise her to stay away from the snake because snakes are some thing that you cannot predict in life. They can change anytime. So what is your response to that particular message to, to, the, to this lady? Okay, my thing is that what she is saying is totally wrong yeah because you are not killing yourself for nothing mm -hmm. you are killing yourself for her yeah because if you don't come to the gambian snake farm yeah she will not even know which species of snake is yeah. this so you are killing yourself for her and the main thing is that you are not killing yourself mm -hmm. it's just like you should be like okay you um i feel very bad for you so please don't even eat a grain of a rice mm -hmm. please don't even go in the car yeah please don't even stand at your house mm -hmm. please don't even catch money because yeah. you can fake you can be fake money mm -hmm. and you can get arrested from it yeah so it's not like you can avoid things okay with being with the snakes example i can tell maybe today she will be having fun with the lions holding <laughs> the stick but she she will not think that the lions can attack her yeah because their parents have not been telling them lions will do this lions will do this yeah but instead they've been telling them snakes will do this snakes will do this mm -hmm. and the main thing is that people like her are the people we are trying to educate, educate yeah people like her are the people we are trying to say that with no snakes you cannot have a um amputation yeah because with the snake venom it can take out your pain it can make you sleep mm -hmm. with no snake you cannot have a um uh, <laughs> you know, you know, you know. Uh, uh, most of the, these people, they don't know the value of snakes. Yeah. They don't know the value of other animals that are created by God. Yeah. You understand? We all have purpose, and we all have values, and we all have meanings of why we are living here. God created everything for a purpose. For instance, when you look at the tree, mm -hmm. you know the tree serves us in different purposes. Yeah. You understand? It can create medications for us. Yeah. And it serves as uh, the carbon, the carbon, carbon dioxide. dioxide. You understand? Yeah. So all this is created for a purpose. But if people don't know, they will be like um, judging. They will be like speaking their mind. They will be writing something that they don't know, they and they will never investigate because they believe that what they say is the right thing. Right. So finally, um, before we conclude, what is going to be your message to this other guy who is saying? VM, um, anyway, Amikole is someone very smart, um, but we believe that Snake Farm is not the best place for her to stay because she's young and she's intelligent. We have seen someone um, that was playing with a snake and, you know, that boy is the owner of that snake, but the snake ended up biting him and he died. So what if that similar thing happened to Amikole. What do you think will happen? Okay. One thing I'm trying to tell that guy is mm. he or she? Is she? She. Yeah. Okay. That lady mm -hmm. is that do, does she think without the snake farm, I will be this smart? Mm -hmm. Does she think without the snake farm, I would even know how to, how to tell people 
if it was not because of the snake fam, mm-hmm. I would be too shy to sit here and talk into the camera, yeah. talk into her. She would have not even known I exist in a way. Yeah. So it's also because of the snake fam I had my good education. Yeah. It's also because of the snake fam I did all the things I want to do, experience all the things I wanted to experience. Yeah. But her, she's scared of snakes. Mm-hmm. You know, in a way, I will not blame her. I'll blame the people that have been telling you stay away from snakes snakes okay stay away from snakes is a good advice mm-hmm. but it's not like people are saying it yeah. that is not true exactly. if it's that then we will sh- we should even tell our people stay away from your friends yeah. because they can try to kill you <laughs> anytime. anytime in fact we have seen people killing each other we they have seen people friends. their best friends people are killing each other for no good no. reasons we've seen people killing each other because of 50 dollars mm-hmm. we have seen people killing each other for nothing and you know it happens anyway we're gonna conclude this show here today but next time we will come back and then we read all the comments and then we go through them okay. and i hope you are so happy to respond back to these people sure i am yeah <laughs> and finally you didn't answer the question he she was trying to say what really happened to that young man who was playing with a snake all the time and everybody knows that that guy really loved the snakes you understand but eventually the snake bite him and he died now the question was um what if the same thing happened to you that means the gambians are going to lose you that's what she's trying to put across what is your response on on on, on that aspect my response on that aspect is that she does not have to worry because mm-hmm. i don't play with dangerous snakes yeah and all the snakes that I play with, if they bite me, they are not going to kill me. Mm-hmm. They are just, I'm going to have some pain, yes, yeah. but I'm not going to die. Yeah. I'll be still alive because I don't play with dangerous snakes. Mm-hmm. Also, maybe people are writing all those comments because they think the snakes I'm playing with are dangerous. Yeah. But what I'm trying to say is that those snakes I'm playing with are not dangerous. dangerous. They are totally harmless. Yeah. And also, you know, people... I really like having this mentality that snakes are really dangerous, snakes are really this, but they don't even know without a snake, you cannot even have operation. Yeah. A lot of people don't know that because if... You mean operation? What do you mean operation here without snake? With you, people are not going to have operation. Okay. If you have a operation, they make you to sleep, right? Mm-hmm. Or else you'll be too painful for you, you cannot handle it. Yeah. So... If there was not a dangerous snake in the world, there would be no operation in the world. Because they take the venom from the snake and make it so you can sleep. Yeah. When the snake bites you directly, you can die. But from the venom from the snake, that they uh, make it equal, will only make you sleep for some time. Wow. And without that snake... Maybe you will lose your baby Whoa. because sometimes you cannot have a baby like that. You should have an operation, mm-hmm. and if you don't have an operation, your baby will die. Mm-hmm. So without the snake, you will not have a baby. But also with that snake, you can lose your baby. Mm-hmm. So that's just how life is. Wow, it's amazing! And finally, um, we are about to go now. Finally, um, what message do you have for me today? I'm not talking about my audience, mm-hmm. but do you have any message for me, please? Okay, your message is you should also try to tell the people about the snakes, about what you experience, and don't just let everything in my hand. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know why I was quiet? No. I was quiet for a reason because I saw someone who was trying to explain what you are trying to put across. Mm-hmm. Um, a young man, and somebody started insulting him. I don't know why. When people are trying to share ideas on social media, some people will use their anger and start insulting. Is very bad habit, and please on our page, VM International TV, we are not allowing you to insult other people. Share your opinions, share your ideas. You are welcome, but do not insult your fellow human being on our comments, because we are there to entertain, we are there to educate, we are there to inform. Sometimes the information we give out might be a best. Um, information for you to grab and then help yourself and then heal yourself sometimes the information that we pull out or give out might not be in your best interest so if you don't need those information just turn around and then move or don't even watch it you understand but if you think this information is useful for you watch it and get the best out of it and then move on This is why we are here. We are not here to compete with any media. We are not here to compete with anybody. 
if you get there before us congratulations if we get there before you fine if you don't congratulation we will congratulate ourselves and we will celebrate ourselves because what really matter is us you understand in life you are the most important aspect in anything that you do so be you and you will get there but don't be there to insult people don't be there to bully people don't be there to you know um to bring people together to to make so people hate you for no reasons it's not good sign so i love that um conversation the reason why i asked is because you are human i know you must have a feeling of why if we, why is we am not responding but i'm not responding because i know there are people out there that will respond back in a positive way okay. so finally what is your message to the people out there Okay what i am going to say is that it's not because someone does not learn about something they don't know about yeah. it you are trying to give advice to the others because maybe you don't even have time to come to the snake farm to do it with me yeah. but i already told you so yeah. you know and it's not because others are not the one that does not have to respond yeah i will give you an example <clears throat> you don't always have to tell people you cannot answer me this because you did not learn it mm -hmm. and also since when i was young the one thing that i always told myself is that i hate bullies mm -hmm. and so if you are a bully you don't change i can definitely don't want to tell you this but i hate you yeah. because i hate bullies that's the only thing i've been telling myself since when i was young mm -hmm. if i see a bully if i could stop i stop it yeah my own sister when she creates a trouble yeah. and if i come i tell her what's wrong the boy says your sister came and she started itching my hair i told her to stop she didn't yeah I mean, what can I do? Mm. I just tell her what you are doing is not wrong, and I tell her you cook the rice, eat it. I'm gone. Yeah. I go my way, and you solve it yourself. It's mm. none of my business because you made it, so you should do it yourself. Solve it by yourself, yeah. Yeah, and also, but you know, it's just it's there's many things to talk about. Yeah. But if some of the people want to ask me some questions, they could also go to my Instagram, which is Amika Lejabang, yeah. or my TikTok also. Okay, so you have a TikTok finally. Yeah, which is all the same account, Amika okay. Lejabang. All right, no yeah. problem. Um, finally, we have come to the conclusion. She's my best friend, <laughs> my sister, and of course, a friend to the world. Yeah. <laughs> Because she is the only young Gambian um, who can speak almost eight languages, right? Yeah. You speak eight languages. What are they? I speak Mandinka, Wolof, English, French, a little bit of Spanish, German, and Chinese. Actually, seven. Wow, <laughs> seven, not eight. Yeah. So, you see, um, she is talented. Yeah. Then the international language that you speak are? English, mm -hmm. French, a little bit of German, mm -hmm. Spanish, and Chinese. Chinese. So you see, almost five. So when it comes to local, it's Mandinka, Wolof, and Man. Uh, a little bit of Fula, Fula. which I'm <laughs> learning. <laughs> she is really international. Um, so she is a friend to the world a friend to herself and a friend to the world. But remember, she said, never. Um, leave your brain behind mm -hmm. if you want to become a friend of the world always be with your five common senses mm -hmm. if you don't if you if you do that then you will be there forever on that note today we will be grateful to thank our humble brother a friend called Srif Srif John he is also a very good friend of mine in fact he is one of um, the people that told me VM staying at Bruce be make no, no use you are so friendly people love you people really admire you you have been here and your home looks like a daycare because a lot of young children from different places different homes will come to that house stay with me from morning to six o'clock their parents will come and then take them back he told me you have a lot of ability that you can do go back to Brikama go back to the place where people need you tell them educate them inform them about what is good for them especially when it comes to the official mm -hmm. so a big bravo is going back to Sirif John and I love you can you give me a kiss please <laughs> thank you very much and now he is 12 years old right am I right 
13 years old and now he's 13 years old and when he was giving me this idea he was just eight to nine years old so look at if young people or a, a child a, a great child like um like him can tell me go back to precam and start educating people because for us we have money we have everything that that can keep us moving why not you so on that note we really appreciate everybody watching us we love you and we want you to maintain peace we want you to maintain um peace and stability be honest to yourself be honest to other people whatever you do try to make it to your own best do not insult do not bully anybody we love you till we come on your way next time we are saying au revoir bye bye TV. international yeah. don't forget to subscribe like TV international ala follow the we be on ning ning dm so so what are together? Yes. I'll be looking for the kids. I'll come follow. What will I do? I'll be looking for the kids. I'll come follow. VM, VM International, yeah.